Some students live on campus for their entire college experience while others move off campus. If you choose that, it's important to stay involved and figure out ways to participate in your campus community. We spoke to some students about what it's like to live off campus. Since coming to college, I've lived in a lot of different places. I currently live off campus with a roommate who I met outside of the university. I started living in my fraternity house and then I moved for the last two years of my college experience to a house with several of my friends. I've had the great opportunity of experiencing sorority chapter housing and I've been able to live off campus in a shared house. Because we had a hard time looking for a place, my advice is to start early. The process of finding off-campus housing was really interesting. I had a lot of different options like Craigslist or the student Facebook page that only our college students are able to access. In searching for a place to live together, we started on Craigslist. Geographic proximity was really important to me. Geographic proximity to the university and also grocery stores and other things I enjoy. I live in a house that's just a few minutes away from campus, so it's very easy for me to walk um, and get to my classes. I used to live one hour away, which made it really hard to be involved on campus. My commute consisted of the light rail and then the bus, so I had to coordinate both the light rail system and the bus system. I had to budget my time wisely because if I left campus too late, the buses will stop running. Take advantage of your commute to study, to read, and take advantage of your commute to do homework. I was really lucky with my housing experience because my utilities come bundled with my rent, so it's a very constant monthly rate versus other students who have to pay according to how much their roommates use and it's not consistent for them. Utilities cover your water consumption, your heat or air conditioning, your electricity, um, and any other miscellaneous things that the house may have. Living off campus, I treat going to school as a full-time job, so I come to campus in the morning and then I usually stay until late in the afternoon. I got an on-campus job, so I was able to manage my time so where I could drop my stuff off there in the morning and then pick it up on my way out. There are a lot of facilities on campus that have kitchens and kitchenettes, so I would just bring my microwavable food and have lunch and dinner on campus. I was able to find a commuter lounge where I could meet other commuting students, talk about bus routes and how to get to campus, and also store my food in the refrigerator. Living off campus actually drove me to get more involved because I wanted to stay on campus until the end of the day where I could just go home and relax. Finding my network on campus was very difficult. I sought out a lot of leadership opportunities on campus, so I joined leadership clubs where they actually provided me with a mentor that really helped me with the different transitions. I started off small in my fraternity, and then I branched out to campus and found larger leadership opportunities. I found a position in a research lab where I was able to apply the skills I was learning in the classroom in the real world. Living off campus can be great. You can live with some great or maybe not so great roommates but your relationship with the campus changes. It's important to figure out ways to stay involved and have the best college experience that you can have.